hello hello I am back it is time to band and label so first I take my alcohol we're just gonna jump right on in and I'm gonna clean off the outside of a couple of jars I'm just gonna do three for you on camera okay so I'm gonna take all the oil and sanitize the outside of the jar clean the lids okay wipe my hands off. So these are the three that we will do. So first thing that I do, okay, so this is the paper that you get, you know, in those books. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull it out easily. Let me see what book I pulled it out of. Okay, so it's like one of these books. You know, the craft paper books. And I use these for all my bandings. This one's pretty used up, but you get a whole bunch of all different prints. And those are just some scraps. I never throw anything away. Okay, so that's just kind of what I use. All right? So that's the paper. Then I use this little cutter. And I cut one inch... These are one inch wide, and then zip it just cuts it. Very easy. So then I measure it to go around the jar and give overlap maybe a half an inch. Cut that. I'm going to measure the rest of the bands so they're all equal. Okay. So these I can throw away. My tape. So what I do is I take a piece of, it has to be clear, transparent tape. Put it on one end. Line it up on the jar so it's even in the middle. Grab another piece of tape. Pull this all the way around and then I use another clear piece of tape and I tape it together okay so that whoops um, you probably didn't even see that so that is how that looks then I have Avery I use Avery labels and I take the ingredients and I make these a lot of sheets at a time. And I find where I taped them together, which is right there. And I put the line it up and then I just put the label on. Okay, so that's the back. Okay, that's the back of it. Now we're gonna do the front. Now in the large jars, I use the circle glossy labels. These are the small jars. So these get the Avery one and a half inch by one and a half inch. They're not glossy, they're a matte. But they go right on like that. Okay? I don't know if you can see that. Deco Soap Co. Apricot and Fig. Natural Butter Sugar Scrub and 5.0 plus ounces because I think all of these ended up being like 5.1, 5 5.2. 5 okay, do one more for you. I did a Christmas show this last November and I made, oh God, 800 products between soap and body butter and scrubs and bath bombs. And we sold out in two days. Everything was gone. And now I have another show coming up the end of January, so it is time to get busy. I gave myself a week off for the holidays. Can't believe I gave myself a whole week off. But I had to have surgery, kind of a reconstruction thing from the cancer. <clears throat> and the doctor says, well, I can get you in on the 
22nd of December. And I thought, okay, fine, piece of cake. Go in, have it done. Then he tells me, okay, you cannot move around for two weeks. And I'm like, seriously, dude? Um, you know, I got Christmas at my house. It's my turn this year. We're doing Christmas. And uh, you, you honestly think that I'm going to lay on a couch for two weeks? Think again? So I promised him I'd be a good girl, but I wasn't a good girl. I was a very naughty girl, and I vacuumed, and I cleaned, and I cooked, and I baked. Did all this stuff I had to do, because it had to be done, right? Had to be done. Well, I am now paying the price. I am in so much pain that this is just ugh, not smart. So when the doctor says, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, you say, okay, <laughs> do you take it easy? Because honestly, oh man, this sucks right now. But it's over, it's done with, I'm good. All is well, all is normal again. Can make sure the lids are on really tight, yep. And I'm just going to put this. On the front, okay, there we go. And these are the kind of labels that once they're on, you're screwed, you can't get it off. You, you gotta trash the whole thing. So make sure you do it right the first time. Make sure these are really tight. Okay, now, since I've got you here, let me grab my shrink wrap and we'll quick finish these up, hang on. I'm just going to step back here and find the bag that's already opened. There it is. <clears throat> so these I get from the same place. I get these from SKS also. Wait, I need one, two, and three. Okay. They look like this. Okay. Doesn't look like much, but if you open it up, Pull it a little bit. It'll go right around your jar. And that's what it does. And when you if you order these jars, it'll have it right with the jar, the right size band with the jar. So you just kind of add on to your order. And you can get these, oh my god. You can, I think you can get them for you know 24 packs, 48 packs, 244 unit packs and the lids come with them. I love them. They're great. All right, let me grab my shrink wrap gun. It's just right over here. Oh, better bend over. Okay. Okay, so here's my shrink wrap gun. Don't ask me where I got it. I don't remember. I have had this thing for 15, 20 years. All right. Make sure I don't know if you can hear me. Make sure you do it on a surface that won't melt, okay? Because I learned the hard way. Very lightly over the top, you'll see it shrink down. And then I hold it in place, and then I go down the side. Because if you don't, it'll just keep shrinking, and it will shrink right off. Ask me how I know. I've done that one too. Okay. So that one is done. It's all shrink banded. It's all ready. I'll do one more. Go easy on the top until it shrinks down. Hold it in place. And then I just go down the side. And then it's holding there. It'll just shrink right down to the jar. Oh, I got a cramp in my thumb. Okay, one more. Hold it. Shrink down. Now the 
that is very, very hot, so I always leave it on that cutting board. Okay, and that, that's how it's done. Pretty easy. Okay, have a great day, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure what it is that I'm going to make. Maybe some bath bombs, but um, yeah, we'll talk to you later. Bye.